Oh boy. Friends, listen, this video has gone viral for some good reasons because you need to take a listen to Senator Kennedy. Senator Kennedy has some amazing remarks online. I'll tell you what, some things are funny and some things are, <laughs> he is, uh, he's out of control. But uh, listen carefully, this is not even funny. This is actually sad uh, that we have a politician who had to read openly. And I think when, when we do on this channel, we tell people, listen, there's some really weird and shady and dirty stuff going on in school, kankiest sexual deviancies. When we say that, sometimes you say, oh, you're a bigot, you're a transphobe, you're a homophobe, you're one of those Christians who just hate people. Not really. There's some really dark stuff happening. And oftentimes this is denied and dismissed until you hear the books being read. Well, the senator is going to do some reading here and he's going to ask some questions here. And you need to take a listen to this because it is mine blowing so link in the description below like and subscribe to the page click the bell icon for more if you happen to be new without further ado let's get into the heart of this message confused and i appreciate the argument that that we've our discussion that we've been having but for me it's a little too conceptual or i don't know metaphysical or the theological or whatever you want to call it i want to try to understand what you're asking us to do let's take two books that have been much discussed. Um, the first one is called All Boys Aren't Blue. And I will quote from it. I put some lube on and got him on his knees. And I began to slide into him from behind. I pulled out of him and kissed him while he masturbated. He asked me to turn over while he slipped a condom on himself. This was my ass, and I was struggling to imagine someone inside me. He got on top and slowly inserted himself into me. It was the worst pain I think I have ever felt in my life. Eventually, I felt a mix of pleasure with the pain, close quote. All boys aren't blue. The second is a, a, another much discussed book. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's called Gender Queer. Okay. Let me read an excerpt from that. Quote, I got a new strap-on strap harness today. I can't wait to put it on you. It will fit my favorite dildo perfectly. You're going to look so hot. I can't wait to have your in my mouth. I'm going to give you the blowjob of your life. Then I want you inside of me." End quote. Now, are you serious? This is this is considered books for children. This is considered books. These are books for children to be read. I mean, it is just wild. I don't know how the woke, these concert, uh, these supposed Democrats, I don't know how, what this has to do with LGBT. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe this is an extreme side of the, the whole movement. I just don't know how this fits in a conversation whatsoever. The fact we're even having this conversation is problematic to me. It's just disturbing to me. Mr. Secretary, what are you asking us to do? Are you suggesting that only librarians should decide whether the two books that I just referenced should be available to kids? Is that what you're saying? No. Okay. Tell me what you're saying. Well, uh, first of all, th there's this. Don't give me a speech. Tell me what you're asking will, me to do. With all due respect, Senator, and, uh, the words you spoke are disturbing, especially coming out of your mouth is very disturbing. But I. Well, no, they, they came out of the book <laughs> that you've. Um, 
you've uh, supported and um, you did not stop from going into schools and you are saying children should be exposed to. That's where they came out from. It's not so much out of his mouth. He was quoting. Um, yeah, and that's the thing. If children, if you have a problem with this book, could you imagine what's happening to the mind of our youth, of our kids? I mean, I remember when Amon Chukru was trying to read um, at a meeting in Florida, school board in Florida. He was thrown out, thrown out. He was reading the books that they have on their shelves for children. They kicked him out. They stopped him and eventually called the security. I'm like, really? Now on the topic of these pornographic books that you keep calling these uh, point of contacts on as it relates to whether they should be read or not. Um, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, currently in Storm Grove Middle School and Freshman Learning Center. Page 265. As if letting him finger me was going to cure all okay, my you. problems. Sir, I'll stop but you there. in the end, Sir, I, I will never stop told you to there. get away. And then and we will it. continue you stop to rubbing not look circles at that. I'm on going my to stop stomach. you there, please. Instead, you rub Would back you and forth, please? gently along my cut waist. Your pinky made its way it. under the stop top it, of my please. panties Sir, and rolled back it. and forth from hip to hip. Sir, he needs to be removed. Thank you. They couldn't handle it. They kicked him out way before he finished reading his book. She stopped them in the nest in, 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 in just the f about five seconds. She's like, nope, we're stopping you right there. Get out. That is interesting. That is very interesting. I was on TYT listening to their remarks. These people are so ridiculous. I was so upset with them. I was so <laughs> I was I was so triggered with them. I think I put a comment down there. I, I don't know how far that comment went. Um, yeah. And even people were roasting them in a the comment because they realized they were laughing and giggling and, 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 and make a light out of the situation that we talking about with John, with John Kennedy. And, and it was really good to see how people just roasted them. But I, I asked the question, do they have any children? Like people who think this is okay. People who are defending this, I really question their mental status. And I wonder, like, do they have any children? Do they even care? Or is this ideology so much more important to them? I think my comment was deleted because I was roasting them in a comment. I did not hold back. I called them out on their hypocrisy. I called them out on their evil ways. And it was crazy. Listen to what they said, part of it. You know, if Senator Kennedy decided to have a little bit of a side hustle as a phone sex operator, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I'm thinking of having him read Justice is Coming. No, no, <laughs> don't do it, don't do it. Something's coming, but it ain't justice. Oh, <laughs> then I got a strap on harness. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I'm like, get it, put it away, Kennedy. Okay, Put okay. it away. Listen, this and is- And then the dildo went up and to the left. It's a serious- Up and to the left. It's a serious matter, <laughs> despite us acting like school children right now. I'm glad you caught on to that, that you're acting like school children on a matter that involves the lives of children that could potentially expose them to sexual deviance and pedophile. This is the reaction you get from people who does not have the heart, nor the care, nor the sensitivity to understand how serious of an issue it is. Childish. Um, listen to this. And I think Gino Jennings was correct when he said. Amen. Go ahead. America, America is going to hell. That's right. I think he's correct. <laughs> because if we don't stop, I'm telling you, we're gonna bust hellfire wide open, like somebody will say. All right, let's get back to the to the to the final thing because he ended up asking them a number of questions. It's amazing watching how much they had nothing to say because they know th their position is indefensible. I mean, what do you do? To, to push back against this. How do you debunk the argument? You can't because you're in a bad place right now when you're supporting this level of content. What I would also tell you that we're not advocating for kids to read porn to Senator Booker's what point. What are you advocating for? We are advocating for what parents 
random parents not to have the ability under the guise of keeping kids safe to try and challenge the world view of every single manner on these issues. You're, you're... Hogwash. Hogwash. Yes, you're advocating for it. You advocating for random parents not to stop certain books from circulating. Really? Like, come on, bro. Getting conceptual game. I'm what not getting conceptual. Well, I'm yes, saying that you are. Yes, you are. Because you, you, I want to know what you're recommending. It sounds to me like what some of you are saying the librarians should decide who gets to see that book. I'm saying when you're making when individual parents are allowed to make a decision of what where that line is and to kill a mockingbird, which involves a rape scene, should that book be pulled from our libraries? I think it becomes a slippery well, slope. I think you ought to. Uh, I don't know so much about killing a mockingbird book, but the thing is the fact that schools think that it's okay for them to do the parents' job in educating children into sexual promiscuity, I should say, uh, indoctrinating them sexually, the fact they feel that this is okay to do, it really shows the level of mental corruption that's going on here because that's none of your job. That is not your job. To be telling our children all these sexual things. Parents can't do this job. Parents can talk to their children about that. And they're making it seem like they, they're giving you this savior complex. I'm here to help. I'm here to help your children from the possibility of them being sexually abused. But the thing is, you expose them to so much sexual stuff in a glorifying way. You promote the idea. You, 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 you give life to it. You're not condemning it. You're exposing it in the hope that these children will become more interested in it. That's what's happening in these books. So for him to be saying that, it shows how low of an individual he is. Think about it a little bit more before you come here. I've thought about If Senator you're going to propose something, you ought to be able, in 30 seconds, to be able to explain what Senator, you're asking us to do. Ms. Kelly, what do you understand? Well, let me skip you for a second. Mr. Um, Cameron, tell me what you're you're proposing. It's pronounced Nix. Um, Nix? Is that how you? How would you like me to refer to you, Senator? Your definition of sexual is synonymous with LGBTQ identity. Library. <laughs> Here we go again. Here is that mental gymnastic. Here is that victim ideology. This is not the argument. The fact you are saying is synonymous to LGBTQ, who cares? People don't care about the fact you LGBTQIA+. Nobody cares, but this is dealing with children. Nobody had an issue with this years ago. Gay people has been around all the time. This was never a major problem. The reason it is, is because you're taking things from the bedroom, you put them in the public schools and exposing them before the eyes of the children. That's why this is a problem. This is not because, oh, you are gay, you are this. That's just pure nonsense. And this is the thing I have a problem with. These people are so dishonest. Now you're playing a victim, please. Stop, get out of here with that victim mentality. It's not going to work. We know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. You know what you're supporting. You're exposing children to sexual deviancies and you're corrupting their minds. That's what you're doing and you're defending it. I'm asking you that. I'm asking you to tell me you read those two excerpts. Gender Do queer. Do you think that, are you asking that only librarians and not parents have any say in whether minors can read those books? Is that what you're saying? Genderqueer has never been in my school library, so it's never been banned. Well, suppose it was. Should it be up just to the librarian, or should parents have a say? There should be facilitation of collaboration between students should parents parents and educators. parents have a say? Parents should be working with students and educators to okay. be making decisions, because right. students right. are... And who decides ultimately? The librarian, or do you take a vote, or who takes the vote? Book review committees in the community in my school district. You want a committee to decide? There are committees. Okay. Well, I'm asking you, how do we decide? But what if the, the supposed committees and so on, right? Even if the parents are involved in this, what if all of them are not even thinking right? What if all of them have been LGBTQIA plus indoctrinated? What if all of them, does it, it's like this, democratic kind of perspective is it's not always like the majority rule kind of concept it does it doesn't always make sense because sometimes the majority may have a leaning though that is outside of what is right 
you know, the thing is, we're talking about right and wrong here. This is a moral argument. And this is why it's so difficult for them to really defend their position. Because what's happening here, they are trying to defend something that is diabolically wrong. But it's very hard to do that. But they have to find reasons to do it. But again, it's just, it's so vague. And you could tell that these people really have a twisted way of thinking about children, about life. The level of moral compass going on here is really, really bad. Oh, my Lord, it's disturbing. Whether the two books that I just referenced should be available in the library. What, what would you, if you, were, if you were running things, what would you do? All Boys Aren't Blue, the scene you mentioned, is about sexual abuse. I know what it's about. It's not What erotic. would you do in terms of making the books available? Would you say anybody can see them or they have to be in a special session? Students who do not read books like All Boys Aren't Blue cannot learn what is appropriate. I understand that. They cannot learn about I understand, but none of you abuse. want to answer my... Uh, they don't need your book to learn about abuse, though. Parents can have this discussion without exposing them to details, details, sexual, explicit details about how to be perverted. <laughs> That's what the books is doing, perverting the minds of the youth in the name of, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you to be exposed and understand what's going on sexually so that you can make sure it doesn't happen. But that's not what you're doing, though. When you, the books that he was reading, they were glorifying the act. They weren't exposing it and said, this is bad. They were, they were explaining in details what happened, what's happening there. And they're talking about this pleasure in this. N no. <laughs> it's crazy. My question, you come here and you say censorship is bad. And of course it's bad. But the obvious response is, okay, you heard the books we're talking about. Okay, we're not talking about Catcher in the Rye. So tell me what you want, who gets to decide. And all I've heard is the librarians. And parents have nothing to do with it. And if that's your response, what planet did you just parachute in from? Parents, Senator. Or what country, more appropriately? This is not China. Parents, Senator, for all due respect, parents absolutely have a say. My parents were immigrants, came to this country. We never checked out books without our parents seeing what what books we were reading. They encourage us to Mr. read books. Mr. Secretary, I understand this is good for your politics okay. back home. My bill is passed. My bill is passed. It has everything to do with your I'm here, politics. I'm here to... But you came here with a problem, and I'm trying to understand the solution, and you don't have one. We solved the solution. Other than, we solved other than, the solution Other than Illinois. to tell us that we don't agree with you, you're on the wrong, we'll be on the wrong side of history. We solved the problem in Illinois. We fixed it because we... Uh, well, there are others you could work on. Well, that's why I'm, I'm here out of to help. Time. Thank I'm you, Mr. Help, Chairman. To help other states make these decisions. Shame on y'all. <laughs> Shame. Oh, my man. He ripped them, though. And I think that was the right way to do it because it's just the level of evil that's going on here. Oh, my Lord. I mean, it's, it's amazing when you read the scripture. Uh, the very thing God says people are going to do and they are doing. It tells us that they will start calling evil good and good evil. They will put darkness for light and light for darkness, bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. There it is. Isaiah 520. There it is. We are living in this thing. And it's so bad because you could tell this is diabolical. This is spiritual. It really is. It's a moral argument about what is right and wrong. And the determining factor here is whether or not these people and these ideologues, I should call them, because they're not really educators in any sense at all, nor do they care for children. They're ideologues. They are supporting ideas that, that, that fits with their ambitions. They don't really care about children. Are you serious? And this is what is being exposed here. And I think John McCarty did a, such a great job. John Kennedy did such a great job exposing them. The spirit speaketh expressly that in a lot of times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. That's what we are listening to. Doctrines of devils. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience see with a heart of iron. You can't get them to think otherwise because they, 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 they've been indoctrinated. They are forever learning, but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And that's the problem right there ever learning never able to come to the knowledge of the truth now it's not like they don't know some of this stuff is wrong they just don't care 
But this is also about protecting the LGBTQIA plus community because they supposedly are a minority who has been maligned in the past. And I don't agree with what happened to the LGBT or any gay person in any way whatsoever. But I can honestly tell you, I have gay people on this channel who watches us. They don't believe this is okay. A lot of them will tell you this is wrong. A lot of them will tell you that doesn't represent what it means to be gay or whatever it is. That's beside the way you feel about their lives. But they will still tell you, no, this is wrong. So these people that are defending this is showing you the level of inhumane behavior that's going on here. A level of corruption and wickedness that is in the heart. In some cases, they are politically motivated or they're being bought or sold and they are doing this. It's not because they don't know it's wrong. They're doing this because they get something out of it. Or they're just diabolically, they're just so bad, diabolically motivated that they think this is okay to do to children. It shows there's something wrong with the heart. And the thing is, children should not be exposed to this stuff, period. Because the children's heart are already, their mental health is already bad. And especially knowing that they're not doing good, uh, academically speaking right now. A lot of our children are failing. We're not even in top 20 in educations around the world. And we spend more money on education than any other schools in the world as a whole than any other country in the world and the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it and that's the thing this is what's going on here the heart is already deceitful and you're exposing it more to more deceitful things and corrupt things what do you think is going to happen i'm telling you man these people are out of their minds 1 Corinthians 15, 33 tells us that be not deceived, evil communication, corrupt good manners. The goal is to corrupt these children with these evil communications. Oh, Lord, don't get me started. Link in the description below. Like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. <laughs> I'm telling you, if we don't stop, <laughs> just like Gino Jaden says, we're going to hell. America is going to hell and we better stop it. Have a good one. Bye.